what's with the static? There's toys in your attic. Wisconsin is tragic. My Johnson is magic. You said you dig me up a sandwich. I said I'm digging in the sand. Rich, rich. You said you'd be kicking the ass of anyone who bothers me. I'm a cat. I said I'm licking my ass. Don't bother me. Please. Is it really necessary to use the word ass? As long as you're involved, you ass. Oh, I have a stomach pain. That's cause they recall romaine. There's a pain in my drink. And a brand new carpet stain. Beneath the earth. Beneath your very feet. Below your mother's basement lies the cavernous lair of a fearsome, foul-smelling, mythical creature who has laid dormant for eons. Then one day, the internet arose and awoke him. <laughs> he was just roaming the web, wreaking havoc and making a mockery of all who dare disagree with him. Back for more, aren't you? Yeah, come on in, get naked like me, pull up a stalactite and sit on it. <laughs> what better day than a day called Black Friday to jump on the white cat bandwagon? Am I right? Cat, the other white meat, tougher than goat, more tender than canned ham. <laughs> ah, it's Black Friday, and we're gonna complain our way right into Small Business Saturday. Yep. That's really what tomorrow is called. Although, I personally like the out-of-town company is finally leaving Saturday. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that by now you're all sick of turkey and those little tin cans full of cranberry crap. But I bet there's one thing that a lot of you are even more sick of. That's right, your family. But not just any family. Oh, no. We're talking about those special family members. Those family members that you only see over the holidays when they expect you to feed them so they can all mooch off you. They don't even smell like family. It's a good thing humans don't identify their group through their sense of smell. You'd kill all those people. Anyway, look folks, I figure we could do a whole hour about the joys of extended family. And since neither of us has anything better to do this time of night, that's exactly what we're all gonna do right here on Cave In. Yep, I wanna hear all about that rancid green bean casserole Cousin Elma coughed up and that unidentifiable putrid ambrosia Aunt Lucille has to bring every single year. What gloriously ignorant thing did they say this year that really soured your stuffing? Huh? What'd they do that pulled that proverbial drawstring around your sphincter? Because I know they did. We all know that family can bring on more misery than an outbreak of hemorrhoids. <laughs> yeah, they can be a source of pain in the same region, too. You know what I mean. So... Here we go. Open up your browser, click in the Discord, go to the invitation link, and give Uncle Weldon a call. The doctor is in. I am your troll, here to console. Your therapist with a twist. I am here for you. I can't see your visuals because you're a couple seconds behind, but probably. Do, let, let me give you a better description. Does it hurt right on the back of your neck? Uh, a little bit, yeah. yeah. Oh, migraines are the worst. Do you ever yeah. see an aura with your migraines? Yep. What do they look like? What do yours look like? Um, sometimes things will go purple. Or like one of my eyes will get like out of focus. Oh, oh boy. Do you ever get dizzy? Yeah. Do you ever get vertigo? Not really. It's mostly when I stand up, I feel like everything's spinning. Yeah. Whoa, did you ever see that movie, yeah. Vertigo? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! With, uh, Jimmy Stewart? Jimmy Stewart. I always, I always kind of, even as a troll, got to say I sort of like Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. You know? Maybe. Maybe. That gives me an idea. Next month, it's all about Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> Jimmy Stewart special. I'm going to do the Jimmy Stewart special. Yeah, it's a hamburger with extra fries. Lydia, I am glad to talk to you because you do share some misery. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I have to let you go. Real quick, can I ask a, can I ask a question? Of course you can. As long as it's not one that you wrote to me because I'm going to answer those later. 
I don't think it was. Okay. I might have, but I don't know if it was. I don't think it was when you would have answered anyway. Okay. Could you say trans rights? Trans rights? Yeah. Could I just Could say, I that? say that? Yeah. Well, I just did. Thank you, Eldon. Okay. okay. Take it easy, lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Bye. 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 Wow. wow. Everybody's, Everybody's in a weird mood weird tonight, tonight, aren't they? they? Yeah. They kind of have like headaches and weird misery. It's the holidays. It's all that doggone turkey. All right, we're gonna try another one. Here we go. What do you want? Hey, Weldon. Hey, who's this? It's, it's Muppet Spa. Muppet Spa. You laughed in the middle of that. Yeah. Um, How you doing? Uh, terrible. Good. 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 You're the first really terrible. Tell me about it. I need to take the bus today to yeah. visit someone. Oh, that's, um, bad, that's enough bad enough already. already. Yeah, but guess what? I had to make a shortcut through the mall, oh. and all everyone was going crazy over Black Friday deals. Like, oh. get your TV. Yeah. Get your yeah. DVDs. Yeah. Get your whatever crap. I don't, get, I don't it. get it. Why do they Why have, do to, they do have to do that? Why do they have Why to have, have a have Black, Black Friday, Friday when all you when do all you is people, people like killing each other at the malls, malls and stuff? And stuff. I don't know. Why not just I'm give not you good prices, prices every day? Hmm? I, I don't know, but I feel sorry for the retail employees who mm. have to deal with all these crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those guys. Those guys. Now, I, that's the that's kind of people, the people we need to hear from on this show. show. Retail yeah. employees. And I ate too much spaghetti you, tonight. You ate, you ate what, like, what, like you what, like, like you were trying to make, make up for, make Thanksgiving? for Thanksgiving? Uh, yeah, because... My Thanksgiving was more of a lunch. Mm. How, so? How so? Middle of the day? Uh, yeah, middle of the day. So yeah. it just... Uh, and you know one thing I hate at Thanksgiving? No, what do you, no, hate? you hate? Those stupid Thanksgiving conversations people have. Like oh. about the money. Oh, it's stupid. Or about school. Oh, it's stupid. I hate those, those things so Money much. and school. Two of the stupidest, stupidest, stupidest things I ever had to talk, talk about. about. Money. Oh, money, 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 money. Yep, yep, yep. School, yeah, school, school, school. school, school. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah. Also, guess what? I, I, you just thing. tell me. I don't want to guess. guess. Um, when a family member brings their stinky dog over. Oh, 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 don't get me crazy. started. Oh, yes. It was so terrible. The dog stunk up the whole living room. Oh, are they still there? Yeah, did they go they home? Oh, we, um, they left to go to a theme park. And did they, and, and before they brought their stinky dog over, did they bother to call and say, hey, Muppet Spot, may I bring my stinky dog to Thanksgiving? No. Of course not. Because they're jerks. You are supposed to just love their stinky dog. You know what I'm gonna get? What? A stinky coyote. There you go. There you go. That'll take, That'll care, take care of that stinky, stinky dog. dog. I got to oh, tell you I something, though. Know. Still going to stink. Yeah. I'd rather have a coyote than a stink. Than a what? Uh, than a stinky dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. wow. It's, it's bigger than bigger a stinky, than dog. stinky dog. dog. It'll kick that stinky, stinky dog's, dog's tail. tail. <laughs> I think it will eat the stinky dog as well. Hey. hey. I would eat the I stinky would. dog. Have a rotten. Yeah. yeah, he said have a rot, have a rot but, he but he meant rotten, rotten day. day. And that's my that's kind of guy. guy. That's why I like him. I like misery. You people know that already. So, so let's hear about it. About it. Your Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving misery. misery. Here we go. Here we go. What, do you want? what do you want? Hello. Hello. Are, Are you, you there? there? Hello? Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Who's that? Who's that? Hello? Yes. yes. Hello. Yeah, Weldon. It's Weldon. It's me, Jesse. Jesse. What's up, buddy? Not much. How about you, man? Oh, I'm hanging in there. I had an uneventful Thanksgiving right here in the cave. Yeah. Watched somebody else's Netflix account. You know, stuff like that. I'm watching Netflix myself lately today. What you been watching? Is it is it good or bad? Well, it depends on what your taste is, I guess. I've been watching the new yeah. movie, The Irishman. Oh, oh. How's, that? how's that? 
far so good. I'm right now. I'm in the middle of it. I stopped just so I can be here to talk to you, buddy. Wow, that's that's, that's pretty, that's thoughtful, pretty thoughtful, thoughtful of you. Of you. But, are you, but are you miserable? How was your How Thanksgiving? Oh, well, it's about as good as you can get. You know, to me, I actually truthfully prefer Christmas over Thanksgiving. You like, do? Why? Why? Well, I don't know. I, I just feel like Christmas is more it's more joyful. You know. Yeah. That's all I got for this particular subject. What do you like about it, though? I mean, you know, who doesn't love Christmas, you know? Well, I'm just saying, I'm a troll. I mean, well, what holiday do you prefer? Huh? What holiday do you prefer? Oh! I kind of like Mouse Day. Do you know about Mouse Day? Mouse hmm? Day? Yeah, Mouse Day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Mouse Day. It's the day when us trolls sweep all the dead mice out of the cave, and then we make a casserole. I thought so. That's yeah. What I, I was just, that's what I thought. Well, yeah. Then you, maybe you've heard of it. I'll send you a slice of the casserole. Let me ask you. Let me ask you something, Jesse. What Thanksgiving food do you hate? I hate? Yeah, the thing you don't like. I guess I'm not too fond of, I know people might go on me on this, but I'm not too fond of pumpkin pie. Ah, ah you see? see? But, I don't like pumpkin, but I don't like pumpkin at all either. I don't like yes, pumpkin. but you might recall that, that last month in the distant past, past. I told I you how much I hate pumpkin, pumpkin spice. spice. Right, how can I forget? Yeah, yeah. so we're so on the we're same the page same there, buddy. buddy. Who wants, Who wants to eat something that's all mushy like, like baby poop? poop. That's why I don't like mashed potatoes either. Yeah! Why mash why them mash up? Them Just up. eat the potato. Eat the potato. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We well, gotta mash gotta everything mash in the mush. the mush. One question for you that I've been wanting to know. Okay. Okay. Um, is your cave by any chance anywhere near Fraggle Rock? Uh let me let me let me tell you about this. Fraggle Rock was a children's TV show, you see. Oh, <laughs> Okay. And it's nowhere near that. Trust me, okay. I'm never going to get near a children's TV show. Well, I can believe that. Trust me. I can believe that. I understand your context, Jesse. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no. This is an actual cave, you see. Somewhere yeah. near, at, somewhere underneath Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, I, 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 I may have slipped up and said that in the past, but I'm not sure I should really tell you where I am because I'm a troll. And, you know, the officials might find me. Got to be careful. All right, Mr. J. I'm going to say goodbye and move on to some other miserable person. Okay, goodbye and tell Steve Whitmire I said hello. Oh, that's the guy's website I'm hacking. Yeah, I got it. So I think... Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Now, folks, I, I just would like to share a little something with you that happened to me last week, Okay. You know, you know, life is, life is full, full of surprises, surprises. And, every, and every now and then you, you have the chance to run into a couple of famous guys in the neighborhood of your cave. And if you're really lucky, if you're really on your game, it might turn out just like this. So, so boys, thanks for coming to the cave. Oh, well, thank you very much for having me. Yeah, yeah. I rarely say thank you because I'm not that kind of guy. Oh. But, you know, it's kind of special to have you guys in a cave. It's not like you've been in one before. That's <laughs> a joke. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Kind of very good yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah. Great you, you guys, you guys came for a little fun. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Let's have a look. Uh, I'd like to show you this right here. Check, check this out. Let's I'm so excited. I'm really, I'm stoked. Yeah, me too. Okay. Anyway. Okay, here it goes. Happy Thanksgiving, Airhead! Bring on the turkey! Uh, well, Master Wuss, I'm afraid things are a bit tight since the Joker hit a billion dollars at the box office and we had to move down here to the cave. <laughs> uh, no one is really keen on investing in brain enterprises anymore. Wait, <sighs> are you saying just because we don't got stately brain manor anymore, we don't got a turkey? Uh, it don't have, Master Wuss, and I'm afraid not. Okay, well, no biggie. Uh, let's just be thankful for whatever it is we do got. Uh, have. What exactly do we have? Uh, well, Master Wolf, seems we've got some stale bread, uh, half a jar of Marmite, and... Uh, Wait! 
We don't have any meat? Oh, well, I suppose. Have we got beef? Uh, no, no beef. Got chicken? No chicken. Got fish? No fish either, sir. Okay, so we haven't got beef or chicken or fish. What have we got? You really want to know what we've got, Master Woos? No, I'm just trying to distract myself from starving. Yes, I want to know what we've got. Here it comes, folks. We've... Holy setup! We suffered through a whole page of dialogue to get to that stupid joke? I'll have a word with the writer, Master Wolf. I am the freaking writer. Oh, right, so am I. And it's not even ham. <laughs> okay, that's not even a real pun. Enough of this claptrap. I need to confide in you, airhead. Right then, Master Wuss. Well, you know I'm always here for you, mate. Okay, well, hmm. you see... Go on. I've been trying to find who I am for so long, searching for some greater meaning. Yes. I don't know who I am, Airhead. Right. I'm not like you. Well, there's no going to Switzerland this time, mate. It's all gone south. So you've got to find your true north and let that guide you. Hmm. Dude, I got no clue what that means. Uh, well, I've been having these feelings, uh, you know, like I need a change to transition to a different version of myself. Really? How so, sir? Well, I, I have these urges, a compulsion, actually, to put on tights and run around the city all night. <laughs> well, you've just described half my friends, Master Wuss. Uh, hold that thought. Look, mate, probably best to keep this between us, right? Oh, exactly! What a relief! I knew you'd understand, Airhead. I want to keep my true identity, i.e. wuss brain, a secret. Starting to see why, sir. Because the idea is to be a symbol of aggravation. I could be anybody, that's the point. And that's where you come in. Must I? I need you to help me come up with a name to call my other self. A pseudonym. More like a sobriquet, if you ask me, sir. Oh, contraire, mon servitor. More like a nom de guerre. Well, what you say we settle on Cognomen? Cognomen? What kind of stupid name is that for a shadowy trolling figure in the night? Uh, no, 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 not Cognomen. It's... Oh, never mind. Look, all right, so think. Uh, okay. We're uh, here. Yeah. Living in a cave. Yeah. Underground. Yeah, yeah. Filled with mice and... Bats. Bats. Underground. Caveman. No, Subway Man. No, no, uh, uh, Worm Boy. Sounds weak and puny. <gasps> Mouse Man. So, out of all I just said, you came up with Mouse Man? Yeah. Crikey, I give up. What? Man is too good. We rebuild things, but you can break them, tear them down. You can be worse, and that would be better. It has to be. Your lot is to live in a cave, all alone, eating Uber Eats and guzzling energy drinks, wreaking havoc as you hack into website after website like a bloody trolling bat out of hell. You could be the Batman. I'm sorry, the what? The Batman? Yes. Oh, please. What? I, I, I can't see. I, I crap everywhere. I flutter around in the dark night, crashing into everything, making clicking noises. Oh, yeah. That's a great idea, Airhead. Really terrifying. Besides, I'm pretty sure it's been done. Mm. Wait! I'm having an epiphany! I'll alert the media, sir. <laughs> Traffic signals change green, causing crashes. <laughs> hey, so good, huh? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, guys? I'm sorry, I got I think this is... I, honestly, I'm, I'm a... I'm a, a David? No. I even pronounced your name right. What do you... David, just come back a second. What, what you, me out, Amy. Yeah, be careful over there. There's a huge drop-off in the cave. I'm... I'm just... I'm confused more than anything. I'm also kind of... I'm kind of hurt, you, actually. You're hurt? Yeah. Well, I'm, I can I'm, get a Band-Aid. Oh, thank you. But, no, no, no I, a plaster I'm, for you. I think it's disgraceful. disgraceful.
and thank you, you, you for nothing. I, I just, I don't know what I want. No, nor do I. I spent five years of my life creating a character and you just took two minutes to ruin it. Yeah! See ya. That's, that's, that's exactly perfect. Any I'm folks? Yeah. Offended. Da offended. I'm sorry, sorry. You're Confused. offended? Offended. I, I, I offended two big stars. I just gotta go. Yeah, yeah, watch I gotta your step. Go. There's a big drop off over there. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Insult and injury. That's a new personal best. Now, I just want to clear something up for all you morons out there who shoot out adrenaline over that young guy who plays Bruce Wayne. Consider this the educational portion of Cave-In, okay? His name isn't David, it's David, okay? That's how the rest of the modern world pronounces D-A-V-I-D. It's only here in the wild, wild west that people who say David exist, okay? Okay? Okay. So, oh, and by the way, uh, the guy playing Alfred, his name is Scene. Seen per twee. And the word gullible isn't in the dictionary either. Look it up. <laughs> okay, back to the phones. What do you want? Oh, oh. Yeah? Oh my God, you killed Batman. <laughs> I... <laughs> but when you say killed, I hope you meant nailed. <laughs> yeah, you nailed. Uh, uh, okay, so you want, me, you want to hear um, how... Well, today, um, uh, Black Friday wasn't too bad, but yeah. yesterday, which was uh, Thanksgiving, everyone yeah. screwed me over. Yeah, great. You want to hear about that, right? Great Thursday. Tell me about it. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm all ears. Okay, so... Um, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Who is this, by the way? Oh, this is Bry. Okay. Uh, B-R-Y. Okay, B-R-Y, you go for it. Okay, so um, I was at the, uh, my stepdad's um, son's uh, place, which had, like, three dogs, one of which we brought two, which were like a German shepherd. So yeah. one of them was a baby and one of them was just unfriendly as hell and yeah. chased me around. And I just decided to just stay inside, eat mm. my turkey and ham, which was yeah. bourbon and just decided to just crack open some cold ones and just <laughs> a drink. And <laughs> well, sounds like you turned your misery into a better Thursday. I'm, I'm just saying. You gotta take care, Bri. Ah. That's what you so, gotta do. That's what you gotta do. What did do. you do during Thanksgiving? Well, I hung out here in the cave. I slept in. I mean, I always sleep in because I stay up ridiculously late. You know, I'm a guy. I mean, I sit here all day playing around on the internet. Yeah. I planned all of my hacking for Black Friday. Yeah. Made a whole list. I think you just described me. Yeah? Well, I... I I mean, what's the point of going outside? It's all light and everything. Oh, yeah, God. I, I just stay in the just stay and just sleep. Yeah. You just sleep my underwear. Oh, yeah. I, well, I'm not even wearing my underwear. <laughs> That's how settled I am in my skin. Listen, uh, I, wish... I encourage all of my cave-in viewers to get naked. What the hell? You're sitting at home. Get naked. We're all naked together separately <laughs> yeah and you know what it is it's black friday the problem is i think i'm at the end of the line on my internet connection and everybody else is sucking up all the internet out there trying to get their deals you didn't just steal someone else's well that's what i gotta do i gotta i gotta just somehow cut them off from all the internet service so i can have it all to myself yeah, that steve guy sounds like a real jackass oh what an ass what an ass <laughs> what an ass i don't use that word lightly either you know, so, I mean, why so, wouldn't so. why wouldn't someone want me to hack into their account? I don't get it. It says something about frogs. And I don't know what that means. Ugh, I hate frogs. I eat frogs. <laughs> I've eaten them. You know, I've eaten frogs. It, listen, mm. let me just say, if you can get past all the foam that happens in your mouth, they're pretty good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they taste like chicken. Um, I don't know if I'll be alive to know. That would taste like chicken. No, they do. They do. They taste like chicken. The legs do. <laughs> yeah. They kick all the way down into your esophagus. Yeah. And then they go past your esophagus into your sarcophagus. And then they come out. Just like everything else. Little frog legs. Oh, my. I think I've said Did about all I could say about that. You know, that's what Forrest Gump used to say. I've said all there is about that. Very weird. Well, anyway, look, look, uh, Bry, I'm gonna let you go. That's what people say when they want to get rid of you. 
Nothing personal. Right. But I got lots of other people, so I got to go. Take care, Walden. Happy Bye -bye. Thanksgiving. Bye. Happy he couldn't help it. He had to say, you know, see, we're so conditioned, aren't we? We're so conditioned. We can't say, have a lousy day. We have to say, have a happy Thanksgiving. I know. He didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. It was, it was just a slip of the tongue. Just a little slip. Okay, here we go. Hello, what do you want? Hello, who's there? Oh, come on. You can't hear me? Okay, bye. Okay, we'll try again. Here we go. Uh, let me try the space key. What do you want? Are you there? Hello, is this well then? Hi, you sound disgusting. Who's this? Why don't you call your mother every so often? I hate to tell you this. I, I, you are not my mother. I, I don't think. I Believe never... me, it is. I just stole my third identity this week, which is why I may sound a little different. Oh, that's scary. Wait, you don't understand, mother. If you're my mother, you know that you abandoned me the minute I was born. Well, then I had no choice. Oh, sure, I know. It's what trolls do. I understand, Ma. Right, wait, I'm calling you Ma like you're really my Ma. How do I listen, know this? Listen, listen. Is there nothing wrong with a little Thanksgiving recontact? I just wanted to check up how you were doing. You want to scream at me for it? Okay, Ma. Or whoever you are. Okay, possible Ma. You sound way too nice to be a troll, Ma. Listen, well, listen, wait a I've had my ins and outs. I've softened through the years. You know what I'm you know what I'm picking up on here? I've I you could be my ma, and you know why? Because you're making me miserable. Because I told you so, that's why. Oh my god, that voice. Ah Wow, that hurts. All right, listen. I'll bet it does. Ma, your voice is like is like two plates scraping together. Thank you. It's music to me. Okay, let me just say this. I don't know how you know you're my ma, but if you are my ma, it's okay because you're really annoying and I like that. It's in the genes, I'll tell you that. It's in the genes, especially your father. Okay. Your father was an uh, expert in annoying others. This is really scary. This is in very the sheets, frightening. I'll tell you. Oh. oh my gosh. Uh, you had sheets? Wow. What am I missing out on? Listen, listen, you know the whole metaphor, meta, metaphorical thing, oh my gosh. Yeah, easy for you to say, Ma. Yeah, mm -hmm. easy for you to say. How have things been going with the little live stream talker -oonies? Oh, just terrible, just awful. We have all kind of technical problems, everything goes wrong, people don't like, why am I talking? You, I don't even know that you're really my Ma. This is frustrating. Listen, listen. Hmm? I'm not going to reveal much about myself. I left you for a reason. Okay. However. Yeah. As a troll, I would like to say I'm really proud of the havoc you're wreaking onto others. I'm really proud. Oh, oh well. Ma, I mean. That... Of course. You know, I had to say it. You're, you're my son after all. Ma, you, you know I can't say thank you because it's just not what we do. But, uh. It means a lot that you're proud. I had to come here and tell it to you. It's, it's, it's what I do. After all these years? Of course, I had to. Wow. Well, uh, okay, Ma. Uh, I'm going to cut you off like sons do, but... Uh, I guess this is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay, bye, Ma. Bye-bye. Wow. I, I have no idea who that was but it could have been my ma. You see, folks, well, I, look, okay, I'm gonna explain this a little later in the show. You're gonna understand all about why this is traumatizing, okay? We're gonna get back to that. Just For now, I just have to clear my head with another call. What do you want? Hello? Hello, who's this? Hi, hey, YouTube, it's me, Nuggy. Nuggy, what's going on? Yeah. How you doing? Oh, it's going great. Yeah? How's your Thanksgiving? Well, it was miserable, but that's what I like. How was yours? Oh, mine was amazing. Uh oh, so, lights yeah, went out. We had family bonding time. Wow. We had lots of great stuff. Oh, that's um, weird. I helped my mom huh. uh, cook the turkey. Yeah. And the greatest thing is that um, so since like my um, mm -mm. grand great grandpa came back from oh. Virginia. Oh. Yeah. 
Uh oh. What he decided easy. to do. Yeah. Yeah. He he made a toast, and it was amazing because like he got up, and like. Hey Nuggy. Saying, like, hey Nuggy. Oh yeah? goodness gracious! I, I'm having problem with my lighting. Uh oh. My K. I'm yeah. having like powers. I'm sorry to interrupt your miserable story, but something weird just happened in my cave. The power went out. The power oh, went no. out. That's scary. You know why? Because really? I don't. Because I don't pay for my power. As you might understand, if you know what I mean, I don't pay for my power. I get my power from other places. <laughs> Maybe they're on to me. Oh, this Maybe. is scary. Oh, huh? There's a cursor. Oh. There's a cursor. There's a cursor right there. Damn you, cursor. <laughs> something, something really. Might be the FBI. Do you think the FBI has a cursor? Maybe. I, I, I'm sorry I interrupted your miserable story because you were be telling me a miserable story, but something weird happened here. I'm going to have to investigate right. this. Could, could, could you excuse me just a second? Yep. Could you excuse me just a second? Uh, I I, I'll, be, I'll be right back, everybody. Just stay where you are. Nothing to be alarmed about. I'll be right back. Uh, 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 let me see. Uh, uh, no. No, that can't be connected. Uh, 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 just a second, folks. I'll be right back. Uh, uh, excuse me. I'm not... Uh, 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 sorry. Uh, let, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 sorry, folks. Uh, uh, just a little problem. Just don't take the difficulty here. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Well, uh, it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't seem to be the FBI. I don't know. Oh, okay. Did you see it, though? Is it just my imagination? Did it go completely dark in here? I think I saw it. Probably. I think so, but let me tell you what I think happened, Doogie. I think I have been hacked. I yeah. Do. I don't know. You never know these things. I mean, I don't tell people when I hack them. Well, I do sometimes, but I don't, I, maybe we're maybe we're stable. I have certain countermeasures in place to stabilize things. So, but anyway, okay. Uh, bye. Okay. Anyway, that was too weird. He was weird. My cave has gone weird, folks. I could be compromised. I might have to end the show any second and run for my life. So just, just hang in there. We're going to try to get through the rest of the show. Let me, let me just see here. I'm going to try to take another call. Who's there? Hello? Hello? I hear my echo. You're there. Hello? Uh, hello? 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 Who's this? Uh, this is Renee. Hello, Renee. I'm having some trouble here tonight. Something's going yeah, on with that. Are you sure you're Renee or you're the FBI? <laughs> I'm not the FBI. I'm okay. Renee. Okay. All right. Thank you, Renee. You sound sincere. So, how was your miserable Thanksgiving? Um, it hasn't been that miserable. Yeah. But we did have something completely different for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, well, that's a good start. That could be, that could have been miserable. What'd you have? Uh, my mom and dad made um, chili in the slow cooker that we had. Yeah. So you had chili in the slow cooker. Was it turkey chili? No. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Because <laughs> that would have been really miserable. Well, the, you know what the best thing about chili is? What's that? What happens about four hours after everybody eats it? That's, um. that's miserable. <laughs> oh, yeah. For you and all the relatives. Woo, mm -hmm. chili. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. So what? So what kind of chili was it? What was it like? Was it spicy? It was. Uh, had beef in it and oh. uh, kidney beans. And, oh yeah, uh, that's the one. Tomatoes ones. and you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know. Yeah, it's that this and that stuff that'll kill you right there. This and that. <laughs> How's your stomach? Oh, I ate some of this. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I had a little bit of leftovers today. Ah. And I felt a little full after that, but I'm good. Good, good. Well, I'm glad you're good, I think. I mean, that's not too miserable, Renee. Uh, what would have made your Thanksgiving more miserable? Turkey? Uh, actually, no. no. But before Thanksgiving, mm. I think would make me miserable. Uh-oh, what happened? Uh, well, see, I work in a dog daycare center. Wow, um, the whole... Our whole PA, which I, is about 20 I, minutes away from where I live. Yeah. And the day before we... As day before Thanksgiving, 
Um, apparently all the dogs were crazy. Ah. Crazy nuts. Yeah, crazy nuts. Well, you know, dogs get like that sometimes. They are very upset about the holidays. That's why. Because yeah. dogs, because dogs get left out on the holidays. Their people go off and do ridiculous, silly activities, and the dog just sits there at home waiting. The poor dog. Yeah. It's tough on them, you know? I it's guess so, tough. yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> poor dogs. <laughs> ah, well, they're miserable. You know, it's part of life, ain't it? Misery? Yeah. Yeah, it's a miserable life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just noticed my tongue is shiny. Look, ah. Ah, 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 ah. There's a little shiny spot. That's a little spittle. I had a little spittle on my tongue. I'm sorry. Oh, well, that, that's all right. Ah, if, you were, right. if you were here, I would be spitting all over you. It's just the way I am. Yeah. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you calling from, Renee? Um, and I, Pennsylvania. From where? Reading. Reading. And, and that's pronounced Reading. It's not pronounced Reading. Yes, Reading. Why? Yeah, I know it looks like reading, but it's pronounced reading. Yeah, why? Why isn't it reading? I have no idea, to be honest. Yeah, it's just another goofy language thing about this English language. I bet they only have one word for reading in, in like, Lebanese. Yeah, I guess. If you live in the town, that's the same as what you do to a book. It's one word. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. Gee, boing. I love the way they sort of bounce out into, into the ethers when I push the button. Okay, one more. Here we go. Hello, what do you want? Well then, hey, I want to ask you an important question. Well, who is this? This is Mary Arlene. Okay, Mary Arlene, ask me an important question. All right. Well, as you know, I'm from South Dakota. Yes. I have to ask you a question about our governor. Uh oh. It, okay. It, I, I I may have the answer, but I'm I you know, okay. Fair enough. Um, is she secretly a troll or is she just a moron? Uh well, both. You see, I I, I, I am a troll, right? Uh huh. I try not to be a moron, although once in a while I slip into moronic behavior, I must admit. But, you know, it's not mutually exclusive. You can be a troll and a moron. Ah. Yeah. I kind of suspected that might be the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She ran on that platform, I think. Vote for me, I'm a troll and a moron. Mm, yep, wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, yeah. What's she doing this time? Something special? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, you may have heard about it on the news, but she yeah. came up with a, well, she hired a firm to come up with a methamphetamine awareness ad campaign. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, and she came, well, the company, whatever, that she hired to do it, um, came up with a slogan that uh, could be interpreted in more than one way, ah. one of which makes us sound stupid. <laughs> ah! Do you mind me tell, asking you what it is, or do you know? Because I like it when people sound stupid when they don't mean to, so what is, <laughs> what's, what's the double entendre? Okay, so the idea, as I understand it, is um, that the, she wants everybody to be involved in trying to get the drug use out of South Dakota. Yeah. So the, the slogan is meth, we're on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, that's... Yep. that's uh... You might as well laugh, everybody else is. Meth, you were on it, that's great. I'm not. No. Speak but for you know, yourself, Christy. I, I'm just going to tell you, though, with all due respect, Mary Arlene, because you know you're a good person. Some people who don't live in South Dakota might say, if you live in South Dakota, you need to be on it. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I, nothing personal. Yep. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of miserable to live where you're yes. on it. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's yeah, it it just it's embarrassing. I mean, I I like where I live. I have always. I mean, there's there's problems. There's yeah. issues. Yeah. There's, yeah. That's true of every place and every person. Yeah. But I've always been proud to be a South Dakota, and not South yeah. Dakotan, and now it's just embarrassing. Uh, is that what you call them, South Dakotans? 
Yeah. I thought it might be South Dakotas. <laughs> no. Or South Dakotians or I don't know. I didn't know. No, I don't no, know. No, it's just simple. Do you have caves there? We sure do. Yep. So in theory, I, I haven't been that far north, but um, maybe I could put on my winter coat and dig my way up there. Well, yeah, you might have some trouble, though, because this time of year the ground is frozen. Ah, well, I'll bring my jackhammer. If you hear a loud noise under your house, it's me. It's not the subway. Oh, okay, good to know. Okay. All right, I'm going to let you go. Let you go. Right, sounds good. Let you yep. go. Bye. We're going to go to some, some questions from my viewers. I got a lot of great questions from all you crazy kids out there. So here we go. Let's start with this question from, yeah, you guessed it, Calorific. Weldon, what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Anything brown? Yeah, I'm sticking with that. Jennifer asked, Weldon, what is the one food that makes you miserable? Well, listen, of all the foods out there, there is one that makes me more miserable than any other, and that's birthday cake because it's so happy in this sappy, nauseating sort of way, and I am allergic to sappy happy. But I prefer the foods that make everybody around you miserable, like Brussels sprouts, the devil's vegetable. <laughs> Why? Because they make you an unpredictable time bomb of noxious fumes, pure pernicious misery. So try this. On your next highly overrated birthday, invite all your so-called friends over for a crock pot full of Brussels sprouts. Then just sit back and wait for the fireworks to begin. <laughs> Cry and Ryan ask, what's your opinion of the French? Love the kissing, hate the dressing. Connor Blake 10 ask, Weldon, what's your opinions on Brexit? Well, hey, I think it's about the best place in the UK to sit for a fast morning meal. Breck, sit, Breck, Breck, sit, never mind. Ah. Mary Arlene, who we were just talking to, wrote, do you smell like a hot dog? As a matter of fact, yeah, about 30 minutes after I eat a hot dog, me and this whole cave. <laughs> Pig's Laundry brings up a sensitive question, and I do mean sensitive. Weldon, what type of baby tastes best? You, sir? are a sicko, which oddly leads directly into the next question from Gavry3 and goes back to this so-called discussion with my so-called mom. <sighs> okay, Gavry3 says, Weldon, could you tell us a bit about your traumatizing past? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna collect my thoughts. Trolls do one of two things. They either abandon their young or they eat them. Now, okay, both options could be said to suck. However, arguably option number one, abandonment, has certain advantages, like for example, being here to tell you about it. So, excruciatingly long story short, evidently I was hatched, which is traumatizing enough, by the way. I mean, one minute you're in this warm, secure, slimy, wet cocoon, and the next you're busted open, you're lying on the floor limp like something the cat coughed up. Anyway, and then you spend the rest of your whole miserable life dealing with the fact that your mother could have just been a freaking chicken for all you know. And then she calls you out of nowhere. Maybe. I'm checking this out. I have my sources, okay? So, that's the way it goes in a troll's life. You know, it's traumatizing. There's no birthday celebrated, no fluffy rabbits bringing baskets of candy, no fat guys dressed in red bringing presents. But hey, it's like they say, Life don't dish out anything you can't handle. Unless you're a freaking Zoomer. <laughs> Consrath asks, Weldon, you've touched upon eating goats, once mentioning that you occasionally like them in the form of Rogan Josh Curry. Yes, I did say that. Did I not? I did. Yes, I did. Say I did. I did. So, I had to ask in capital letters, where and when did you first come across this exotic, piquant Rogan Josh and how spicy was it? Well, it was spicy, baby. It was spicy, but not the food. It was the company. I'll never forget it. It was in the bustling city of Nagpur, the center of India. 
And there she was, a Bollywood goddess, the world's smallest living human female. Her name was Jyoti, and she was my kind of woman. She spoke no English, and you could keep her on a shelf in a jar. I ain't lying, people. Watch American Horror Story. Yes, she was a vegetarian, and I was a devourer of goats. And I told her that goats were basically vegetables, but alas, our love was not meant to be. I need a little moment. Okay, okay. Consrath also wants to know if I'm a milk chocolate or dark chocolate kind of guy. Then he goes on to say with that, do you think white chocolate should be even considered true chocolate? Because I don't, BTW, I'm allergic is not an answer. Okay then, Mr. Smarty Answer Police. How about I'm immune sensitive? Hey, look, pal, you know what they say? Once you've had dark, you never go back. Bark, bark, back, blech, blech. Mary Arlene asked this very, very confusing question. Should ask her about this one while she was on the phone. She says, Weldon, M and M's are my favorite candy. What do you think of all the new varieties of M and M's they've come out with recently? M and M's. I'm just trying to. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. They're not called M&Ms. They're called W&Ws. Everybody knows that. Come on. And by the way, they now melt in your hand. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, yes, they do. Do not argue with Uncle Weldon. They do. They melt in your hand. Rainbow colored hands. I'm not kidding. Try it. Try it. Whole marketing campaign down the drain. Corian Ryan follows up with, what would your dream M&M flavor be unless you already have one? Okay, then. I already have one. <laughs> Exogenesis asked, how dare you, Weldon? To which I respond, because. And I, triple dog, dare you. Hmm. And speaking of dogs, which we've been doing all night, Connor Blake 10 asked, Weldon, can you please tell my mom to let us get another dog? Ideally, a German Shepherd. Okay, play this for your mom. <clears throat> Mrs. Blake, or Mrs. Connor, whatever, please get another dog. The bigger, the better. Preferably from Germany and a shepherd that takes care of sheep like young Connor. And mom, hey, it makes a lot of sense because in the event of an apocalypse, they make a great source of protein. Dragon Lady Danny 25 asks, are trolls school taught or are they self-taught? Neither. We are the great untaught. Pretty much. Mary Arlene wants some advice. She says, Weldon, is it more efficient to rake leaves several times throughout the season or wait until they all fall and rake them all at once? Hey. If it's a fish that you're looking for, leave them where they fall. What's wrong with leaves? Come on! Cry and Ryan also asked, Well done, how did you get the Stranger Things kids to come into your cave? Oh, that was an easy one. <laughs> left our Halloween candy. Sure, they left their pathetic trail of pebbles and breadcrumbs, but the sugar thing works every time. Works every time. And then he wants to know, Weldon, who's top troll? Well, that's easy the 45th president of the United States. He also asked, Weldon, do, who do you admire? Do you like anyone? Okay, okay, okay. Cry and Ryan, this is just a great time to explain something about trolls. You see, it's like this. Trolls aren't about hating people per se. Per se. Per se with a little line after the say. We're about making them miserable. So you could say, I like people who are miserable, and I admire them for stubbornly sticking with it. <laughs> Nico Toons asks, Weldon, how do you feel about Disney doing live action remakes of some of their old animated classics? Ah, well, I feel the same as I do about Disney doing anything. Don't get me started. There's a reason it's called a classic, people. Come on! Because it's been around long enough that everybody knows it's good. We don't need a bunch of neo-executive fanboys and fangirls messing with it, do we? Everybody say no. I'm listening. Everybody say no. I heard you. I heard you. Okay. 
Calorific wants to know, Weldon, what's your opinion of Disney Plus? Well, on the plus side, it was so easy for me to hack into those accounts. <laughs> on the minus side, all the good stuff is still on Netflix. I'm just saying. Calorific also asked, Weldon, do you have a last name? Yes, I do. It's Weldon. First and last, first and last Weldon. That's it. It's like Cher. It's like Madonna or Kleenex. Okay, not like Kleenex. Uh, uh, Charo or Sting or Bono. Bono. Boy, how'd you like to go through junior high school being named Bono? You just sit around hoping you never get called on to stand up in front of the class if you know what I mean. Connor Blake has another logical question. Weldon. Did you have any part in planning Y2K? If so, how did you feel when it didn't happen? No, I did not have anything to do with planning Y2K. If I had, it would have happened, okay? I'm good at what I do, but I did, however, plan a very different event a few nights ago, and I called it KY2. <laughs> very slippery success, if you know what I mean. Cryon Ryan wants to know, do you stand up comedy? Do I stand up comedy? Uh, you know, while I suspect that's a typo, I'm gonna answer it anyway. Do I stand up comedy? Some would say so. Prop it up. Really, more than stand it up. Okay. Angie Esquire cross-examines, Dear Weldon, do you buy stuff on Black Friday? Do you use coupons? Well, Angie, I have a little Black Friday Black fly, fly, put my teeth back in. I have a little brat, black, <laughs> it's late. I have a little Black Friday tradition. I like to hack into all those websites where they claim their product is a steal and steal it. <laughs> it's easy. I'll show you how sometime. She also asked, are you gonna eat goat or turkey on Thanksgiving? Oh, Angie, you know my answer. Goat tacos, baby, of course. Keep them coming, girlfriend. No further questions, Your Honor. Lydia wants to know, Weldon, are you a sundere? Not exactly, Lydia. I'm more a perfect cross between a sundere and a yandere. That's because I'm initially cold and even hostile towards another person before gradually becoming destructive in nature. <laughs> Mental illness and disgust all rolled into one little furry frame. That's me. Last Tuesday, this is a weird one, Last Tuesday, the ghost of Christmas present asked, Weldon, if you had to steal one of the original Muppets from the Center for Puppetry Arts, who would it be? And then not eight minutes later, he asked, Weldon, can you give me advice to help me get a girlfriend that's my type? <sighs> so the real question here, ghost of Christmas past, boils down to what is your type? which in turn boils down to what type are you? We gotta know what type you are, and based on all the evidence we have to go on here, you're a guy who's planning to rob a nonprofit by pilfering puppets. Dude, you ain't never getting a girlfriend. Uh-uh. The Ghost of Christmas present continues, going stag. Weldon, do you like memes? If so, ask me who Joe is. Oh, I know who Joe is. But the real question is, who is John Gold? Don't you wish they were called memes? Memes, screaming memes. Just doesn't cut it, just doesn't make it. Cry and Ryan ask, does OK Boomer trigger you? Hey, look dude, I'm a guy who don't know his parents and lives alone in a cave. It don't get more millennial than that. Pigs Laundry asks, do you have a lot of friends, Weldon? <sighs> like I said, I live alone in a cave. I'm moist, I smell. Friends, sure, I'm the life of the freaking party. And it don't get more millennial than that either. <laughs> Mike Garific wants to know, Weldon, do you understand Zuma humor? Yeah, Mike Garific, I figured it out. It ain't funny. See you's all in a month. Get out of my cave.